Hey guys, we're live. Sorry you had to wait. Usually I'm like right on time, but I had to eat a fig bar real quick. So, you know, that life. Um, we got eight whiskeys, guys. Eight. I think all of them repeated. Pretty sure all of them repeated. Pretty freaking excited about it. Nate over at Bubble Bath Bourbon gave me, sent me all these samples. And he's going to be on the stream with me in just a moment. And we're going to just go through them together. Pretty excited about it. Um, I have his YouTube channel link in the description box of this video. Um, so if you click on the description box, show more or whatever, his should be like the second line uh, or third line. Adriana's Alzheimer's uh, link is also in there. We'll talk more about that later on in the stream. If I remember, somebody please remind me. Um, but that link is in there as well. Um, so yeah, we got eight whiskeys. They've been breathing for a little while. Let's say hi to some people. Carlo Mac. Mmm, Pete for the win. Happy Saturday. Happy Saturday. The Mac. We got 1C86. He says hello, everybody. Hello to you. Ooh, settling in here with some Offerman Lagavulin. There we go. Bo Bath is drinking some Port Charlotte 10. He's in the back. Julie, I'll hope everybody's having a great weekend. Cheers. Cheers, Julie. Everybody just loved last week's stream with Julie. Uh, I got so many freaking messages and comments and DMs and all of the things. We got John De La Cuisine. Hello, everybody. Hey, John. We were just over on a little Patreon live stream, and it was just so fun. They go by way too quick. Um, we got Tim over at Donner Pass Whiskey. He says hello. Fabby Dram, one of my awesome patrons. We got Pete Head. Evening, Shayla, and all you whiskey folk. Hello. Uh, oops, chat just jumpy jumped. Hold on. Let me, where are we? Where are we, guys? Hold on. Oh, here we are. Okay. Uh, we got Sugar Kitty. I don't know if I said Sugar Kitty, but we got Sugar Kitty. A wee beastie. Who else we got? We got Josh Randall. Okay, uh, gonna have to, oh, gonna have to grab my Port Charlotte 10 that Shayla got me hooked on. Oh, yes. <laughs> Kevin Campbell, you said it right. We got eight whiskeys. I'm so freaking excited, you guys. So it's totally blind. I have no idea what they are. Oh, okay. The only thing I do know is that uh, there's four Islas, two Space Sides, and one Island, and one whiskey with an E or something like that. We'll talk more about it when Nate gets in, which I will do in just a second when I get caught up with chat. Okay, John De La Cuisine. Is the Offerman Lagavulin U.S. only? I've never seen it here. Oh, I actually don't know. Somebody gave it to me from the state, so I don't know. Uh, it might be, though. That would be a bummer. Um, at least so far, I think that the 16 is better, but I've only had a couple of drams of the 11, so I still need to, you know, analyze it. Um, Donna Pass, are you talking about the Brucladi? Uh, that she just got eight different pours, hashtag Shea Lambert. Mm, that's probably going to happen tonight. Marshall, that's a new name. Hi, Marshall. Welcome into the chat. All right, guys. Nate, give me a little thumbs up if you're ready. All right, we got a thumb, guys. Hey. <laughs> hey, what's up? <laughs> just, uh, you know, your little rubber ducky. Uh, he's my... Uh, emotional support animal. Oh, okay. All right. No judgment. No. <laughs> How's it going, Nate? <laughs> Pretty good. Oh, that's awesome. Oh, we got Trev the Bourbon Wrench Wilson. Hello. The wrench. The wrench. We got Jaime, not Jamie. Hello. All right, guys. So I'm not going to oh, waste boy. any time because we got yeah. eight whiskeys to get through. So real quick, Nate, can you run through what they what the all the types are again i just want to make sure that i have the correct yeah. number you had it right four two one and one 
Okay. Some of them is a whiskey with an E, so it is whiskey not Whiskey with an E, so might be Ireland Could or be. somewhere else. I don't know. I don't Maybe. think any of these are American, but you never know. Maybe there's an American malt in here. I don't know. Um. You, do you have any guesses already? Okay. Okay, so... Um, Let's do we, those we first, talk- and then we'll... Uh... Okay, so we talked about this a little bit on the Patreon stream uh, that we just got off of just a second ago, but I tried all of these. I was like, eight whiskeys in two hours means that I could only spend 15 minutes on each whiskey without talking to chat or Nate. (laughs) And I'm like, that's a little too stressful for me. And so it's still blind. I still have no idea what they are, but I did spend a little bit of time with each of these last night and just kind of wrote some notes. Um... So do you want me to get, do you want me to, should we, I can go through my guesses, I guess, as we go through the, through the thing, if you want. Um, well, there's, I oh, kind of want to change up the order, the order that we drink them, based oh. on which ones that you've guessed. Oh, okay. Okay, okay. All right, so, um, here, I'll, I'm going to put this up really quick, and then I'll go through it, just so if people want to take a little screenshot. Let me get it, it's not going to focus, I don't think. Okay, so first one, I guess, is Space Hide. Second one, I guess, is Isla. Third one, I guess, is Isla. Fourth one, I guess, is Isla. Fifth one, I guess, is Island, which I'll explain. Um, sixth one, I guess, is Speyside. Seventh, I guess, is Isla. And eight, I guess, is Ireland. So, oh, you yeah. guess the country, huh? Ooh. Well, okay. And then, uh, so I guessed on number one that I have not had it. Two, that I have had it. Three kind of tasted like Lefroig for some reason, and I assume that I've had it. Uh, four, I think I've never had it. Uh, fifth, I think is my favorite. I said heaven. That's what it smelled like. <laughs> um, and for some, okay, so the reason I said it was island, it has this sherry. It's weird because it doesn't look like it's like super sherry, I, and maybe it's not. But on the nose, to me, it was sherry, and. Uh, it kind of reminded me of Aaron, the island whiskey, and so I thought Ooh. maybe it was an Isla uh, or an island. Um, I thought maybe with that sherry that it was a space side, but um, I just loved it so much, and it kind of reminded me of Aaron. So I was just kind of, I just went with it. I don't know. Um, so I guess that I haven't had, or sorry, on five, I maybe had it before, but I wasn't sure. It kind of seems familiar, but I don't know why. And then sixth, I said that I haven't had it. Seventh, I said I maybe have had it. And eighth, I said I haven't had it. So those okay. that's what we got going on. <laughs> and right. I numbered all of these, uh, so we can switch up the order. Uh, just let me know. Um, let me, uh, while you're thinking of the order, I'm just going to get back into chat real quick. <clears throat> Sarah says, hey, to Julie. Not to me, apparently. No, <laughs> I'm just kidding. Uh, Lido, uh, all right, here we go. Oh, yeah. I'm drinking whiskey and Diet Pepsi in the pool. 10 out of 10. Oh, wait, would not recommend. What? Oh, maybe because Diet Pepsi and Diet is super gross or something? Because that sounds like a lovely day to me. <laughs> uh, Bourbon Ranch, someone pick what I drink next. What are the options? Um, let me... Whiskey Mountains, okay. So real quick, before we switch up the order, guys, we got 30 people in here. If you guys don't know, Adriana over at Whiskey Mountains is doing an Alzheimer's fundraiser, doing huge giveaways tomorrow, including uh, one of my Whiskey Central Munkarens and a Whiskey Central coin. Um, and I think they're doing a bunch of bottles and stuff like that. So, uh, I put her link to the, uh, live stream for tomorrow, uh, in the description box below. So if anybody's interested in checking that out and supporting an awesome cause, um, just go check out her channel and we'll, I'll say that a few more times as we go through the stream because more people will come on probably. So go yeah. do it. Go do it. We got Justin Jonas. Hey. DC is in the house, drinky the scotchy. So I can screenshot the facey. Well, the problem is my face is just going to be like... Yeah, <laughs> it's going to be of happiness. And he probably just screenshotted that, so fuck. <laughs> um, <laughs> how much Wait, is it right Carly? into his hands. 
Yeah, uh, I'm drinking uh, Glenmore and G original with Coke. So Port Charlotte, uh, for me, it was around, I think, $70. And Nate, have you bought it? And how much was it for you? I think it was like 60 60 somewhere yeah. around there. Yeah. So okay. um, but that was at, a, you know, entirely grapes and moss. A what? <laughs> Total wine. <laughs> oh, <laughs> You know. <laughs> Sorry, my brain's not working today. I was like, "What? <laughs> what is what? that liquor store?" <laughs> um, wow, that's. Yeah, I try. That's I try what... not to admit to shopping there, but every once oh, in a while, I'll go there. <laughs> I gotcha. I gotcha. Uh, that's all we have when when I go up to Tucson. That's that's like all there is. Um, yeah. well, unless there is some hole in the wall that I don't know about, I just go there. No, there isn't. Um, my dad lives out there, and he's tried. That's yeah. literally the only place that has anything. Yeah. So <laughs> other than. Um, jack daniels <laughs> right right like beam and stuff yeah um so marshall have you tried port charlotte like you're drinking glenmore and g original i don't know you're you're new so i don't know if you like have been in the game for a while uh and if you like pete or or not uh let us know i'm curious um like the video y'all there we go um Wow, click the link and set a reminder. Over 20 bottles to win, you guys. Huge freaking giveaway. So awesome. Um, whoopsie. Hi, May, to honor Shayla's latest video. Log of only 16. There we go. Yep, basically correct. Um, Mark Slinger, oof, Spring Bank 15, jelly. Um, I just had a Blood Knock 17 that Nate gave me. Uh, on the Patreon stream. Whew. It's good. It's, it's amazing. Good. Okay, so what order do you want to go in, Nate? Um, I want to start with number five because that's interesting <gasps> That's my favorite. <laughs> it, it is, and I, that's very interesting for a reason. Yeah? Okay, so yeah. I wonder if this is, like, garbage that I'm not supposed to like, but for some reason I like it, so... Okay, so we'll go with this one first. I don't All think right. any of these are garbage. I wouldn't send them to you. <laughs> no, no. I just mean, like, you know, because it's blind, I'm nervous that, like, oh, God, did he send, like, something that's supposed to be terrible that I'm not supposed to like? And then I'm like, oh, this is my favorite. <laughs> um, okay, so after water. that, what do you want to do? Um, did and you do these? Uh, I'm assuming you went through order when you did them the other day. Yeah, I did one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yeah. We'll just do that again, but I want to go with number five first because this. Okay, five first and then same yeah. order? Okay. Okay, so just as a reminder, number five, I said maybe had before, and I maybe is an island whiskey. I thought Space Side, but then I liked it a ton, and I noticed that every time I've liked something and thought it was Space Side, it was like a Campbelltown or an island, and so I, or, you know, uh, an island. Um, <laughs> So I said heaven, fruity, vanilla, and it kind of had some sherry, I thought, in it, at least yesterday. So we'll see. I'm not very good at picking up sherry, to be honest. Unless no? it's that super sulfur sherry. Right, right. And, and I might not be either. This might not have sherry in it. I mean, it doesn't look like it has sherry, and it looks like it's just a bourbon cask. But, um, oh, oh, neat. So do we want to do a thing? Let me know. Do we want to do a thing where you like? I close my eyes and you show what the bottle is oh, to everybody. Yeah. That'd be okay. Yeah, that'd be, okay. Here, let it. me just real quick, just so there is no, not even a question. <laughs> 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 this is my. I use this for my meditation because I don't like it when you just have to close your eyes. Which way is which? Okay, here we go. All right, guys, and you just let me know, Nate. I can I can hear you. So. Okay. Um, so this is what we're drinking, good. guys into the shot and it's not all bleached out from the light okay and nobody please obviously nobody comment what it is in the chat because i would ruin it okay oh, this is focus fine is so. so bad i don't have autofocus so oh me neither i think this thing auto focuses but i have no idea i think everybody got it though okay all right is it out of frame yep okay all right whoop all right, we'll just keep that in the... Shea Zorro. Oh. <laughs> um, okay. Peated bath water. <laughs> I mean, some of them do kind of taste like that, but in a good way. Oh, John Nello Cuisine. I'm, like, 
so on a scale of like one to ten of how excited I am, twelve. So it's pro I'm probably too loud. I probably need to need to tone it down a little bit. My my shit over. Oh, oh, wow. There we go. Perfect. Got it, little Joe Rogan. <laughs> <laughs> okay. You ever thought about doing DMT? <laughs> Hey, what about these gorillas? <laughs> okay. Is that better? Yeah, I think you sound good. I, I think I'm yelling. I think I was yelling. I, okay. I was, it I'm a little excited. I'm too excited. The Pete does that to you. Yeah. Okay, Marshall commented. Let's see. Uh, no part Charlotte yet. Uh, might dip into it. I normally do bourbon, but scotch is new. I have Oban. Nice. Uh, Teacher's Highland Cream. So Teacher's Highland Cream, I'm pretty sure is, has a little bit of peat in it. Uh, and a bourbon oak, oak and Eden finished whiskey. Okay, cool. Um, so yeah, I mean, you're, yeah, you can totally try uh, Port Charlotte for sure. You might really, really like it. It is quite peaty, but I really, uh, really enjoy it. Um, I'm new to scotches, but I've tried a few. Yeah, the Glen Morangy, um original is completely unpeated, if you don't know. Um, so it's going to be a totally different profile, um, than that. Uh, but yeah, give it a go. It's, it's, it's a cool category. So, um, and then if you don't like it, maybe go for something like, you know, like a space side or something, um, like a Balvenie 12 or, you know, something kind of like that, or, um, another unpeated Isla that you could go to, uh, I really like is the Bricladi, the classic Lottie. Um, so that's an unpeated one, but it's got kind of that coastal character, uh, that Port Charlotte has, and they're from the same distillery, so, um, so yeah. Mm. Okay. I actually like this better than I remember, because I did this in a blind with a whole bunch of, I basically did all these bottles that I sent you in a blind before sending them to you. Okay. And, yeah, I don't remember it being this good. <laughs> Oh, so wow, that's different than yesterday. Yeah? Yeah. It's... I don't know. I mean, it, at least going through it this way, it smelt like it had some sherry on it, but I'm not really getting any of that on the palate or on the nose, really. Maybe just a little bit, but uh, it's I don't definitely different. Know if it is or not. <laughs> it's different than I... Uh, than, than going through it this way, at least. Starting with this one is, is different, and might just be my palette today, but yeah. Um, be yourself, you're fine. Yeah, sorry, I got, whew, I got a little amped up there. Um, that happens sometimes, like. Uh, uh, gonna, ooh, gonna open the lore sample. So I sent mm. uh, Jeffrey some Laphroaig lore. Um, or he, he won some samples, it was his uh, birthday, so. Uh, he has that, and I think he had the Log Bowl in 16. I can't remember if, or it's that like may a have been. Uh, mix of oh, well, finishes, a... right? What's up? The war is like a mix of finishes, right? I actually don't know because I've never researched it. I only oh. research them like when I am actually doing the video for them. So I actually have no idea, but I would imagine so. It does not seem like it's just bourbon. Hmm. Um, it seems like it's got some other stuff. Teachers does not work well in a smoky coke. Okay. Uh, I've had Port Charlotte 10 and Classic Lottie and thoroughly enjoy them. I, yeah, I want some more Brooke Lottie stuff. I know. I'm pretty sure that that's like my favorite distillery ever of all time for it right now. Um, wait, so Nate likes scotch? Yeah. Scotch, is scotch, video, scotch. Guys. I love scotch. Down <laughs> it goes into my belly. <laughs> So, okay, to be fair, I do not like this as much as I did yesterday, at least in this order, um, when I was doing, yeah. Well, that's... we'll see, once you have all the rest, right? Yeah, yeah. Because that's the thing, like, when I got to the end of this, when I did it, I was like, ah, it's a lot of peat, and, like, the peat kind of just went away, and, like, everything, all the individual little things about them just come to the surface. Yeah, yeah, I was noticing that yesterday when I was tasting them, uh, at first, I was like, oh, they're like a little bit peated. They honestly, none of them seemed like super peaty, but maybe that's just because I'm getting used to peat. I don't know. Could be. Um, <laughs> but I was like, oh yeah, these are really good. And then, uh, yeah, I think the more the night went on with them, I uh, I was only with them for like maybe an hour, uh, but I had a really small amount, so there was a lot of evaporation happening. Um, 
but yeah, I noticed a lot of those like little things kind of come out. So, um, I just saw Gregor. How you doing, buddy? Um, oh yeah, Julia, I'll get some interesting info and watch Nate bathe his whiskey bottles here. Yep. I've only done it a couple times. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> um, I think there is a good deal of older sherry stuff and virgin oak quarter cask in lore. Okay. Yeah, it's super delicious. Um, ooh, Lito Cortez. Oh, and sorry, I normally it's it's right here. You guys can't really see it, but <laughs> uh, have to, uh, have to admit I'm a peat head, so I'm loving this. I'm <laughs> okay, yeah. So I'm loving this live. We'll be doing an Ardbeg flight tomorrow. Oof, yes. I've only had one Ardbeg in my life, and it was the uh, L E Black. <laughs> black. Um, and it was really good. I only had a sip of it actually, so I've almost all the samples. So, hmm. um, did I Scotland? A, I got a few Ardbegs. Did Scotland so I win? Like did Scotland win, Gregor? I thought it was a tie. I remember somebody saying it was a tie, but maybe um, over time they did. Let me know if Scotland won or not. It sounds like they did. Um, ben, hey, how's it going? It's been a while, buddy. Uh, cheers, Shayla and Nate. Good to see you. You just did a, I don't know if you did a marathon or something. I saw something yeah. on your Facebook. Is it a half uh, marathon or something? Half marathon? Shit. I'm like, Freaking I can barely light. walk 5K, brother. <laughs> um, okay. Uh, Chris, uh, Chris 2 F in B. Mm, yeah. Uh, <laughs> I'm, uh, I'm in P tonight. Oh, Lock Loman single grain peated. Oh, uh, it's like that green bottle, I think. Oh my God. Yes. Um, okay, guys. So sorry. Black was invented by sheep. Yes. Okay. Scotland was the moral winner. Yeah, I I heard that it was like the amount of enthusiasm or something was crazy. I didn't watch it, but um, zero to zero was the final score. Okay, that's what I thought, but I wasn't sure. Um, okay, where where were we, Nate? Um, number one. <laughs> okay, starting oh, that's right. <laughs> okay, so we had five. Yeah. Um, all right, so. And it's still blind, so I still reserve the right to change my answers, if... Oh, okay, you don't want any answers now? No, not yet. Okay, all right. Because what if my mind changes? This is the real analyzing, but that was like baby analyzing yesterday. Oh, that was different. So this one is like strawberries, I don't know if you get that. Strawberries and like floral. It's got like vanilla and caramel, but strawberry is kind of coming out. I don't know if you get that. Like mixed with potpourri or something, or some sort of floral yeah. element. Kind of weird smelling. Like not ripe strawberry? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Let me give it a taste. Ooh, <laughs> I yeah. don't like that one. <laughs> well, I think this would be a good time to show people what it is then. Oh, crap. Here, hold on, hold on. <laughs> you can just I close like your this. eyes. Nobody thinks you're grease. Oh, uh, I know. It's fine. Um, It tastes so florally. It tastes like perfume or flowers or something. Why don't I like that? I don't know. It doesn't taste very peaty at all. All right. Okay. Um, it's it doesn't taste super peaty. Um, that that floral. Do you get that too? Like it? Or there's something in there. Maybe I'm calling it floral and it's not actually, but. I don't get very much in the palette, to be honest. Mm. Ah. <laughs> a little bit of malt. The finish is, um, uh, I don't know. It's peaty. The finish is way more peaty than the, the smell or the palette. Yeah, I'm getting just this 
kind of overwhelming floral um, note, and I'm not really getting that much peat. Hmm. But again, I did just do that flight with Whiskey Crusaders, so I might just be drinking, and I just did my Lager Vulgar review this week, so I might just be <laughs> having too much peat right now, and it's not hitting me the same, but... Um, yeah, it was really floral. Um, on the nose, not so much, but on the palate, uh, way too much. <laughs> um, so I guess that that was a space side. I'm, I'll stick with that. I'll stick with that. I think I think it was. I don't know. Okay. Um, Are you going to be ranking them too? Oh, yeah, I should. That would be interesting to see. Yeah, yeah, that'll be cool. Okay, uh, I love fruity, no- uh, fruity notes when it comes to scotches. Flowery notes, what? <laughs> yeah, I love fruity notes. Um, and actually, normally I like floral notes, uh, especially when they're mixed with fruity notes. But uh, this one had uh, too much floral on the palate. Uh, never had that one, okay. <laughs> which doesn't tell me anything. <laughs> um, which is good, I don't want to be told anything. So, okay, so right now, uh, that's last place. Um, so far. Obviously, it's only the first one. Well, I mean, I had number five, but I don't like that one very much. Um, I'm really yeah, I'm with curious you. to see what that is. So Number one is uh, number eight. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Okay, do you want to go to number two? Number two. All right. So, oh. let's see, guys. It's pretty, pretty light. Pretty. Oh, you poured a lot. Yeah, I've probably poured too much. It's okay. I'm only having little sips of them, and then we might go back just for me to figure out my order. But so the small super bourbon cask e, like very vanilla bourbon cask. Oh, people should know what this is. Hold on. Bam. It smells like vanilla bourbon cask. It kind of smells like um, the classic Lottie a little bit. I don't think it is, but it kind of, um, it's kind of reminding me of that just a little bit. Um, mm. All right, you're good. Okay. Um, I haven't tasted it yet, though, so. Mm. Yeah, it's got this light vanilla. A little bit of citrus, kind of creamy, custardy, a little cream custard thing. Hmm. Mm. Okay, yeah. Doesn't taste, at least like the Lottie that I've had. It's got a little bit of peat, so. Um. But it's a nice peat. It's got that. I don't know if it's solely bourbon cask, but that vanilla comes in and the peat mix really well in my opinion sorry my dogs are barking mm. how do you feel about it nate i love it you love it yeah i'm really enjoying it right now i'm probably not gonna rinse between this one because i want that finish to, stay. <laughs> to just hang out she's so methodical i love it sometimes i feel like i'm really not methodical at all um, Pete has says, do love that one. Okay. Oh, I like that you guys know. It's, it just makes it more fun. Um, so you guys yeah. can see how silly I am in time. Because I think when you go through eight and then there's a reveal, it's like, holy fuck, I can't even remember what she said about that. You know, it's like, <laughs> right? come on. Sometimes you just have to do it like that, depending on, you know, if you have somebody or you don't have somebody on with you that can, you know, show the bottles. But, but yeah, that bourbon cask is really nice and then there's something on the palate i gotta figure out what it is i I can't figure out what it is there's some sort of like fruit note it's like a little bit citrusy vanilla cream and then there's something else a little bit of barrel spice i don't know it's really good though I don't know what it is. I don't know what that note is, but so I guessed Isla on that one. Pineapple. Maybe pineapple. I guess Isla. I. I should just. Uh, I mean, I haven't had 
quite a few islets, but it doesn't seem, and maybe I'm just getting too used to peat, but it just does not seem that peaty. I mean, compared to the first one, quite a bit. Yeah, maybe I'm just getting a little uh, peat blind. I might need to do a, a cleanse uh, of no, no whiskey slash no peat for a while because... Yeah. I'm getting a little bit, a, a little bit of that effervescent texture, but I'm not getting like Laphroaig or something, you know, like where it's hitting me. But I thought number three, I think number three is Laphroaig. I'm not sure. Um, and it didn't hit me that much with Pete either, so I don't know. Yeah, I went on a Pete kick and I was like, pretty much that was all I was buying and all I was drinking for a while. And then I got the wee beastie, and everyone's like, "Oh man, that wee beastie! There's so much peat on it." And I'm like, "What? Uh -huh. this doesn't... Yeah. What? <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's not, I don't... it's not that peaty." <laughs> yeah, I kind of feel like that with this, at least so far. Um, I don't know. I, I'm getting some, but not as much. So, grilled pineapple. Yeah, maybe that's what it is. Um, whiskey fancies. Hey, whiskey fancies. Uh, or maybe Shayla is reading chat. What? Oh, please be careful in chat. Don't give away the answers. Oh, okay. Hey, somebody was giving away the answers. Don't do that. <laughs> uh, and hey, if somebody does give away the answer, like they actually say the bottle or give way too big of a hint, don't give any hints, guys. This is blind. Um, one of the wrenches, just just kick them out for a little while. Don't don't be that guy, guys. People. Okay. All right. So I like that one way better than one <laughs> yeah <laughs> <laughs> a lot i i don't know where it'll land in the in the end but um i like it i said isla i'm gonna stick with that um i'm gonna stick with that yeah okay uh, okay yeah you, you do that <laughs> <laughs> don't make me start second guessing my self no, you know it's... how bad i get <laughs> uh, no i'm just a little Taskmaster came out for a second there. I had to, had to push it back down. <laughs> um, okay, I also got to a point where I didn't get any peat on Ardbeg 10. Yeah, I had to quit, quit drinking uh, peated scotches for a month, and it was back in full swing. Yeah, I think I, I've been drinking a lot of peated whiskey lately. Uh, all the samples from Matt, and then these, um, and then a lot of the Woolen Review, and I had a Lafroy a few days ago, so... Um, I, I think I'm getting a little blind. I think I need to, um, after this, I need to stop for a little while. <laughs> um, stop. Get some help. <laughs> Nate's having so much fun just messing with her. Oh, okay. Yeah. So I'm probably going to, I know that I'm bad at this, and I'm fine with that. I was watching this review of, um, okay, I'm going to go to three now. I'm going to go to three. All right. But I was watching this review. My dogs are just going crazy. There might be somebody walking outside. Uh, Ralphie was talking about how for the first couple years you shouldn't really he was just as a as an advice kind of thing you shouldn't have a bunch of independent bottlers because for the first couple years you're just wrapping your head around like what Highland Park tastes like what Lafroy tastes like you know and you just need to have their their kind of uh, you know standard bottling their standard expressions and not go for like these crazy oddball weird things um, and I feel like that's where I'm at right now, just in my journey. Like, I'm not, I want to try independent bottlers, but I feel like it's going to take me a, quite a long time to get my head wrapped around, you know, what, what's what. Um, okay. That being said, I guess that this was Lafroy. Oh. Nate, show the people. <laughs> it just smelled and kind of tasted like it yesterday. I don't know. It's just kind of lafroy -y. So I guess that I had it, but I don't know. Okay. What's uh? What is what is Lafrogi about it? <laughs> um, I don't know. There's this. There's just, and I mean, I feel like a lot of Islas have this, so it could be probably almost anything. But it's um, it's got this like oceanic kind of thing. I don't know why it's reminding me of Lafroy. Um, let me see if I can try to pick it apart a little bit and see why. Yeah, I, 
I did this blind again. Mm -hmm. And uh, that was terrible at guessing them. <laughs> yeah. No, I think yeah. I'm going to be too. Yeah, and it's weird because I had these yesterday because I wanted to get my head wrapped around them and they're tasting different today. <laughs> so I don't know. <laughs> it still is kind of reminding me of, of something like that. I think it's an Isla. It seems pretty heavily peated. Or just, you know, like a medium P, like 40 ppm or something. Oh, I'm so sorry, guys. I have not been reading chat at all. Shit. Um, Gym sneakers. Hmm. Um, <laughs> okay, I'm definitely uh, taking notes on what you're all number three is the fourth one, right? Oh, yeah, and we'll go back to five. So you can just do them in order if you want. Uh, one, two, three, and then we'll go back to five. Um as we go through the thing, um, just to kind of keep it in order. Uh, I was going to buy Hot Island Park 12, but the woman at the liquor store uh, talked me into buying Teachers. Huh, that's really weird, because Teachers is like a uh, non-age stated, very, very budget um, kind of blended uh, whiskey that's uh, pretty affordable. Um, I think it's mm -hmm. only around $7 a bottle, at least here. I don't know what it is over there, but... Um, Highland Park, I would say Highland Park is way better. <laughs> um, and it ha it's kind of, it might be a nice intro to peat too, because it's got 20% peated malt and 80% unpeated malt. And it's got a little bit of sherry. Um, I really enjoy it. And I think you guys up in the States get it at 43%, which would be worlds better than the 40% that we get down here. Um, so yeah, that might be a good one to, good one to try. I'm really surprised that she talked you into, or I'm surprised that she would, you would say that you wanted Highland Park and then she would go for teachers. It's kind of like in a different ballpark, but. That's, that's why I don't like admitting that I go to Total Wine. <laughs> <laughs> there was this guy, she's like, yeah, my husband, uh, he usually drinks Jameson. And he's like, oh, he likes Irish stuff. Okay, well, you, how about this uh, Connemara? Oh it's kind of like Jameson. <laughs> Except <laughs> Peter did not like yeah, Jameson. <laughs> at all, yeah. Oh, like, gosh. oh gosh. Yeah, yeah it's like Face that that Ron Swanson thing where he walks into Lowe's and the guy's like, hey, you got a project? And he's like, I know more than you. <laughs> yep. um, that's how I, uh, it's not how I feel when I go to Total Wine, but, um, cause I'm just not like sure. that, but <laughs> a little bit, maybe just a smidge. <laughs> uh, John T says, cheers, everybody. Cheers. Mm. Highland Park is great value. I think it is too. Yep, honey, multi, fantastic. It's got a lot that, so it's fully matured in sherry. 99% sure that's accurate. Um, but it's like, you can tell it's not first fill sherry. It's like third fill or fourth fill or something. Um, cause it's not super sherry or at least the one I had, the older one, uh, they may have renewed their cask policy, but Christopher Molly, where are you? I am in Mexico. I'm from the States, but I live in Mexico and we're moving, planning on moving to Europe once all of this is all over with, hopefully. Some people do get sulfur because it's sherry. Uh, depends on how sensitive you are to sulfur. Okay. Okay, uh, well, I was looking uh, to upgrade from my Glenfiddich. Okay, uh, she put me to teachers. She admitted uh, she has very little knowledge on scotch, only uh, budget, okay, uh, which isn't a bad thing, uh, but still LOL. Okay, yeah, so yeah, if you have the budget for, you know, Highland Park and you want to get into Pete, that might be a good direction to go. Um, and then if you do want to try, I think Percladi, uh, the Classic Lottie is pretty wonderful. Um, and it's kind of good for newer people. Uh, total wine brands tend to be good values. Never really had a bad one. We got Cameron Lochner. Do push-ups. <laughs> okay, so smelling less and less like the Freud, I don't know. You getting band aids? That's what John de the cuisine said. <laughs> oh yeah? I feel like band aids is more of a log bullet thing, but I don't know. But maybe it is maybe it is. I haven't fully analyzed that uh Lafroy that I've had, so uh I don't know. Uh, the lady in my local store uh, once sold my Jack Daniels honey. Oh my gosh. When I wanted a typical bourbon. Oh gosh, yeah, that's bad. <laughs> yeah, can I have a honey liqueur, please? <laughs> um, 
Okay, so I I think that one's Isla. I think that maybe I've had it before. It seems kind of familiar. I don't know. Um, so yeah, we'll go with that. All right. Yeah. On to number five. Or actually um, four, but five. Four? Yeah. Four. The fifth one, number four. <laughs> well, we'll do we'll do five again. <laughs> we'll do five again. Um. Okay, people say band-aids because they've heard other people say band-aids. Yeah, I I don't know. Maybe don't, it is a thing, but... Oh, what do you think, I Nate? Don't, I don't get band-aids. I mean, I guess what Neither. they're saying is like a plasticky, like... Maybe, yeah. I guess. Um, I, got I get the iodine a, for sure. Yeah, I've got like an iodine and then kind of like a medicinal thing. And maybe that stuff maybe conjures up some <laughs> remembrance of band-aid or something. I don't know. Neosporin and Band-Aids. Yeah, I don't know. But yeah, everybody's different, so I don't know. Okay, so for... I guess that I've never had this. Oh, let me... Well, bam! Mm -hmm. I guess that I've never had this, and it kind of reminds me a little bit of number one for some reason. That one shows they're pretty good on the camera. Oh, good. All right. Okay. Reminds you of number one, huh? Well, I, I wrote that on my notes, but it's not it's not now, so it's crazy how you go from one day to another and it's just completely different experience of these. Well, also by the time we get to the end and we go back, they're gonna taste completely different, so Yeah. So this one seems quite peaty. Cheers. Cilantro. Cilantro. Right? Or, Ooh, no, wow. It's not a chip. What is that? What is it? <laughs> That's a good question. Okay, so maybe this is why I wrote that it reminds me a little bit of one. It has a tiny bit of that floral perfumey thing that number one had. Not as much, though. Yeah. On the palate, at least. Um... Pete Head says, now we're talking. Interesting. <laughs> it's so cool when you guys say those things because I'm like, I don't know. Cilantro. Maybe that's what I'm getting. <laughs> I think he's making fun of the way I pronounced cilantro. <laughs> oh, so, oh, okay. Because I'm like, there's this, um, sometimes people get a soapy note on cilantro. And I was oh, like, yeah. maybe that's what I'm getting. Um, I don't get a soapy note on cilantro, though. But yeah, that was what it made me think of. But. Yeah, this kind of, I don't know, floraliness. And I said that I think this one's an Isla. I don't know. Ashy peat. Yeah, it has kind of a different um, peat profile than the other ones so far. It seems it tastes way peatier than the first three, at least for my palate today. Hmm. Yeah, it's got kind of that florally perfumey thing. Um, and I don't mind that if it's in a small dose and mixed with a bunch of other stuff, but right now it's, it's a little too much for me. Hmm. Um, yeah, I don't know, I like it, but I don't love it. Yeah, no. I thought uh, the cilantro thing, sometimes people get a soapy note. That's what I thought uh, they were saying. They were talking about the cilantro thing. I, uh, yeah, I'm really good at this, guys. Or on okay. uh, <clears throat> whiskeys that have been saponified or whatever. Have you ever had one that was fucked up from that? That actually no. tastes like soap? No. Oh. Or I don't think. Well, to be fair, I've had some that I think are super, super soapy, so I don't know for a fact, yes or no, but um, I've had ones that I'm like, I, I was freaking out this one stream because I literally thought all of my glasses just had, like, I was like, these didn't get washed properly oh. or, like, rinsed. Like, I was like, it's soapy. Um, and I kept going back, and I was like, am I going crazy or what? And um, I think it, it was not the glasses. <laughs> so, because uh, I tried them later, 
like, and I knew the gla- like, I did the glasses myself. Usually my husband does them, because he's awesome. Uh, but I did them myself and freaking ran them with super, super hot water, washed them out with bottled water, um, all of the jazz, um, and they were still, uh, they were still like that. So it wasn't, it wasn't. Hmm. Uh, I y'all drinking soap. <laughs> <laughs> uh andrew uh drinking 11 year old mgp fantastic whiskey what what is it like what's the what's the juice i mean i know it's mgp but like what's the brand tell me um i get a hint of spawnification on edredower 10 not sure if it's from uh crash proofing so like where they put the water in too fast or something i have no idea i have to see guys i didn't even know i mean i I guessed what cash, crash proofing was, but I didn't. I don't know these things. I need to learn more. Um, it makes me so excited when you comment stuff like that because I'm just like, I don't know about this. Uh, Julie L, the amazing wrench is putting in Adriana's all timers. There's some new people in here, so if you guys don't know, Adriana over at Whiskey Mountains is doing a huge fundraiser for all timers. Um, she is doing i think around something like 20 bottle giveaways um bunch of stuff is being given away so uh tomorrow if you guys have a chance to catch that stream donate a five dollar super chat get entered in to win um you know a ton of stuff uh and it goes to a really good cause so um yeah please just save this link just click it and then add it to your watch later i don't know if anybody does that but i do that um just add it to your watch later and then it's saved you can set a little reminder and um it's awesome. Emily Chambers, how you doing? We got Daniel, just Daniel. No, no last name. Too cool for last name. But like uh, yeah, share. <laughs> it's been way too long. Great content as always. So good to see you. Okay. Are you ready to go back to number I'm five? Ready. I'm I have a little bit left, yeah. Okay. Alright, I'm gonna do this real quick. But I we already. Oh, you want me to show you? Oh, did you already show it? <clears throat> I can do it again. Oh, son of a bitch! All right. For all the the kids in the back of the class that missed out <laughs> the first time. It smells way sherry. Like it now that it's opening up. I really get those sherry dried fruits, like raisins. Is it gone? Yep. Okay. All right. I don't get any of that now. I wasn't at first, but now that it's kind of hanging out, it's, it's not like all... sherry bomb or anything, but um, I'm getting sherry. I don't know. Hmm. I don't so have I guess very much just... left in my glass, though. I don't know. Oh, no. I <laughs> guess that that was... You want to pour more? I'm going to pour more. Go ahead. Although this does have the stupidest bottle in the business. Oh, Yeah. Yeah, I don't know if you can see this. Now I really but, don't know what it is. No, you can look. Look, what? look at the camera. It's got, it's got oh. a pour thing, but it's got a, it's got a cork. Huh. But it's also got a screw top on the top. The hell? And when you go to pour, it just fucking drips everywhere. <laughs> Man, my bottle, my bottle knowledge is not good enough to know what that is. Um. I don't either. I've, that's the only thing I've ever seen with it, and it's like. Yeah, yeah. Like if if you had. If you if it was anything that I've had before, which I don't think it is now that I've seen the top, um, I would have known what it is. I'm like really good at guessing bottle shapes. Um, somebody used to do a, was it Jason or I can't remember who it was. Somebody used to do a thing where they would like black out the bottle, and they wouldn't say what it was, and then whoever guessed it like won something. Or, I can't remember. Like, there was like some- Pokemon. Yeah, yes, exactly. There was some oh channel that did that where it, like, it blacked it out, and I was like, oh my god, I love this. And I can't remember who it was. I feel like it was Jason, but... That's so now a, I'm really curious idea. to see what this is. Yeah, I don't know who's doing cool. that, because I want to go in their chat and be like, Charizard! <laughs> Charizard, yeah. I feel like it was Jason. I don't think... I think he did it for a little while, and then he stopped doing it, or something. I don't remember. Guys, if you know in the chat who does that, please let me know. Okay, I'm getting it a little bit. Yeah. But after it dried out, like what was left in the glass was just nothing but like malt. Like none of those, none of the old fruit smells. Yeah. Were there. And there's not a ton of it, you know, but there's some. Hmm. 
Yeah, I. That's up there with number two for me. I really like it. Um, so I guess it was an island. I, I, I would say, I don't know. It's kind of reminding me of a sherry or a, a space side just because of that sherry. But, um, not all sherries are space sides, or, you know, or not like all sherry whiskeys are space sides, and not all, you know, I don't know, it could be an island. It could be an island, is what I'm trying to say. So, but yeah, you I like it. You gotta pick one or the other, right? <laughs> I, I am, I'm locking in island, but yeah, I'll just lock in island. I'm probably wrong. All of these are probably wrong. It's fine. Probably um, always gotta go with your gut, you know? <laughs> Um, okay, Mash and Drum did sh uh, bottle shape guesses. Yeah, it was it was right when I started uh, watching his streams that he did those, and I loved them because I never got it in time. But um, I don't know. I felt like I knew them most of the time. I was like, it's either this or this, and then it was one of them. Um, so yeah, Mash and Drum used to do that. He should do that again because it was fun. I loved it. Um, this lore is incredible. Thank you so much. Uh, I'm definitely going to purchase one if I can find it. I was not expecting it uh, to have so many layers of sweetness. You're the best. Yeah, so Jeffrey, I don't know if you get this, but I get... Yeah, it's like very sweet. It's surprisingly sweet, but it's got this um, confectionery sugar note. Like a lot of it. Um, mm. And I really, really enjoy that. So, Oh, I'm so glad you liked it. That's awesome. Meant to tag Shay. DC, what did you tag me? What's the central? Any Ron Swanson's callbacks yet? Oh, yeah. Nope. Haven't heard anything. His management team will be in, in touch. <laughs> okay, guys, I don't know if you guys saw this. So, probably most of you did not watch the whole 19-minute video. Way too fucking long. I tried to cut it as much as I could, and I was like, I can't cut anything else. This is all the info. Um, but at the end... <laughs> At the very, very end of that video, there's a little Ron Swanson nugget. So if you saw it, um, I thought it was fucking hilarious, but um, I just love him. So yeah. Anyway, okay, where are we at? Six? I know how to count. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> hmm. Okay. Numero six. Numero six. So. Kind of like barrel spicy, not like spicy spicy, but like it's got a nice little amount of kind of um, baking spice, barrel kind of spice. I get a little bit like, um, sounds kind of weird, but like banana cream pudding or something. Hmm. I mean, it's like kind of slightly fishy too. This sounds so gross when you're describing it, but um... <laughs> fishy banana cream pudding. Yeah, like extra so it's got anchovies. A little bit of it seems like a little bit of sherry, but then it's got a tiny bit of fruitiness, which I it seems a little bit banana-y right now. Just a little bit. Hmm. Hmm. Mm. Do we do we know what this oh. one is yet? Hold on. No. I don't know where my glasses. There it is. This one? I think it's this one. Hopefully. Think, oh, yeah. Yeah. All right, we're good. Okay. These lights I are like so this. bright. <laughs> it's hard for the camera to see. Yeah. Um, yeah, I like this. It's got like a little bit of spice to it. Uh, I guess that it was a space side. I don't know. Um, yeah, it's good. I don't know. I like it. I also guess that I maybe haven't had it before. Fishy space side. I know, yeah. <laughs> I'm like, well, you said they were all peated, so I'm like, it could be a little bit of peat. I don't know. Hmm. Doesn't seem well, and then the problem is if it is an Isla, what isn't an Isla that I've already guessed is an Isla? Yeah, because there's four Islas, two space sides, one whiskey with an E, and one island. Yeah, 
I'm just gonna stick with it. You're probably trying to give me a hint that it's not, but I'm just gonna stick with it, it's fine. I mean, it seems peated, obviously, but if they're all peated, then it could be a peated space side, so I don't know. Um, yeah, that's probably an Isla. Um, Where's that one rank? I, let's see, actually, I don't know. I like it. Um, I don't like it as much as five, I don't think. Uh, let me see. Because five and two are kind of my the fucking bomb ones. At least so far. Yeah, I don't know. It's it's good though. It's good. Um it's up there, it's in the top part, I think. It's in the top half, but I don't know where exactly it's at. Yeah. Yeah, really good at this, you guys. Uh George Dickel finished in Isla casks. Should mm. be a thing. I wonder how that would be. I actually probably would like that. Better than Tabasco, I think. Uh, have you had I Westland? No, I don't think. Unless I had a sample, but I don't think. Oh, What's I got a sample me? of that. I got a sample of that. Oh, yeah? I bought the little uh, 375 version of it. Oh, cool. Along with their American Oak and their Sherry Finished. Oh, nice. Uh, Carla Mack, uh, time to close things out with some Oogadal, because nothing can follow Oogie. There you go. Oogie. Okay. So, yeah, I think I liked that one. It's like lower middle, somewhere around there. Yeah. At least so far. So, yeah. Let's see here. This is so fun. Thank you, Nate. <laughs> this is a lot of fun. It's probably more fun for you. Because <laughs> yeah. you know what we're drinking. <laughs> That's probably funner for the chat. Well... Actually, yeah. They, they don't. They don't get to drink it though. Well, true, they have true. it. <laughs> so I think you. You're in the. You're in the best spot here. <laughs> this is why you send blinds to people. Yep. Do it. Okay, so this one smells super Isla E. Like it smells like. At least so far, maybe I'm just getting into the kind of flight, but it smells super peaty, like fish, smoked bacon, smokiness. Mm. <laughs> now I'm getting hungry. I already had a sandwich for lunch, too. Yeah. Yeah, I had one a little while ago. It smells wonderful. Alright, I'm gonna go for a sip. I'm guessing that I have had this. I don't know why, it just seems familiar. Mm. I'm getting that confectionery uh, sugar note on this. That I get on some most peated stuff. Mm. Is with all that other stuff, though. Which is perfect. This is really nice. I mean, and if we're talking, like, peated flight, I feel like this has to be up there, because it just... I don't know, it just seems like it's a nice balance of kind of, like, that sweet and peat kind of thing going on. It is very well balanced. How about a Cajun spiced burger? Why are you talking about food, Sugar Kitty? We can't eat right now. <laughs> it sounds really freaking good. <laughs> we don't have Uber Eats here, guys, and it's so Ooh. fucking irritating. Like, there's no delivery, except for this one place that delivers pizza. It is good pizza, but I'm like, I don't want pizza all the time. Like, sometimes I want something else. Okay, so this one just you have, like, some wonderful. neighborhood kid you can hire? <laughs> I know, right? I'm like, go get me the damn food! <laughs> but yeah, if we do ever get over to Europe, I'm gonna be really excited. I feel like they have Uber Eats. I don't know. I hope they do, but... Probably. What were you gonna say, Nate? Sorry. I was gonna say we should probably show them what it is. 
Oh shit, did we not do that? Oh god. No, See, um, yeah. the, it's going off the rails, guys. We're seven getting so hammered. Is, we're getting Shay Lambert here. So this one smells... Um, it's kind of... I Okay, I don't want to just keep saying Lafroy, but this one has more of that balance of sweet and peat with the confectionery sugar that's kind of reminding me of that. But some other Islas do it too. I'm guessing it's an Isla. Okay. But also I really okay. like it. I really. Taking, oh, I'm sorry. Take that off. <laughs> sorry, I thought you were saying okay to my guess. <laughs> I was. Like, oh, okay, yeah. okay, it's an island, maybe. <laughs> um, <laughs> yeah, I do. I do really like that one. Oh, it's gonna be really hard getting an order down. Mm. Holy crap! Because I so I do a. It's not like exactly like Fred Minnick's system, but you know he does like a a plus a plus plus a dash or a down or whatever so oh. i do up arrows so i do up arrow a double up arrow a dash and then a down arrow or two down arrows um mm. to try to get my order right um but i just keep doing up arrows <laughs> i'm like oh up arrow <laughs> up arrow dash up arrow up arrow like okay they can't all yeah. be <laughs> so i do that when i'm reviewing too because like my scoring system is five is like the middle where it's like this is serviceable i could drink this whenever like that's it's yeah. great but yeah and like everything's like six seven six seven eight right right <laughs> yeah like really I, horrendous shit <laughs> yeah i was like those are the two <laughs> yeah. yeah when i first started thinking about doing reviews i you know i started watching reviews obviously and i was like oh how, do, how does everybody else do it you know um and i kind of I don't know if this is the right decision and I might change it later down the line, but um, I just don't do any numbers for the, like I don't give it an 88 or an eight out of 10 or any yeah. of that because I feel like that kind of thing happens where you're in between, you know, a six and a nine or like a five and an eight or something for almost every single whiskey um, because most of them are pretty dang good. So I try to just like right. say, if you like this, you might like this and just kind of my thoughts on it because it's like it's a totally personal preference you know so um so yeah it's hard and then if you get some people that say oh this is a six and then somebody says it's an eight or whatever i don't know it's it's hard but yeah i'm actually thinking away from going away from numbers to be honest yeah i don't know it's, like the it's more hard. that i the more that i drink like because when i first started off it was like you know this is a five compared to everything else that I own, but it's like, as everything else that I own changes, it's like, uh, uh, everything starts getting a little skewed. Right, right. And then, you know, as your collection, I think when you first start, you, you know, you don't have that much to, to base it off of. And then yeah. when you have your 300, you know, bottles or a hundred bottles or whatever, your, your palate gets better too. So you're only, you're picking better whiskeys. And so you're comparing them to better whiskey. So it's, it's just kind of hard. I don't know. Um, yeah. But I definitely see why people do it. I mean, it makes a lot of sense, but I'm just like, I would just score everything so close together that it'd be like, okay, this is an 87 and this is an 88. I don't know what to fucking buy, <laughs> you know? So oh, I couldn't do the hundred points. Oh my God. That's too much thinking for me. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> We have like 10 okay. for each category, like a so, Curiosity Public. Nah. Right, right. I would sit yeah. there and spend like two days on a review just thinking about the scoring. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> See, I like it. I just kind of go, I like this or I don't like this or just, you know, kind of just my thoughts about it. But okay, eight. Have you, have you gotten into eight yet? I have not. Let me just tell you guys. Okay, first note that I wrote, Fruity AF. Pineapple, oh. pineapple up the yin yang, and uh, I got banana too, but mostly pineapple. No apple? I get a lot of apple. Oh, do you? Oh, I got uh, no. pineapple. Mm. Let me see. So that's a type of apple, right? <laughs> <laughs> I get like super, super pineapple. Like, like they put pineapple. Dole pineapple juice was spiked. Oh, in this yeah, like the canned pineapple. Yeah. The super sweet, yeah. Okay, I, yeah, that makes sense. But yeah, I mean, I guess, just fruity. I mean, you yeah. can say any fruit, and it's probably in here. Oh wait, here, yeah, you want to show it? One sec. I'm yeah, I'm so curious, guys. <laughs> okay. Mm, it's good. It's, so it's good. different. Um, 
Man, that fruit is just crazy, though. Mm. But it's, it doesn't taste as fruity. It's kind of a little bit, it's got some in there, but it's like a little bit maltier, a little bit kind of, yeah, a little maltier. I don't know. I think it's more burnt. Is it burnt? Oh, yeah, I kind of am selling that now. So I'm wondering if, mm, mm hmm yeah. Definitely. It's not like it's not like the burnt the peat is burnt. It's like uh like charred. Yeah, I think it's it's kind of like um you know, like when people say grilled pineapple or something, like it gets super, super, super sweet, kinda of like that dull pineapple, but yeah, it's got like a little bit of a char on it. Like somebody soaked a pineapple in that juice and then yeah. grilled it until the freaking glaze burnt. Yeah. <laughs> but in the best way. Yep. <laughs> And I'm guessing that I haven't had this. Oh, I also guessed that this was the Irish whiskey. I think it was just by process of elimination, but... Mm. It's just so different than all the other ones. Um, so I thought yeah. maybe... I was thinking about not putting it in there, but I just had to. Yeah. Because I want other people to drink it. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so now... So I'm just going to stick with my answers for okay. the guesses. They're probably wrong. Uh, but now I need to figure out my rank, which is going to be kind of difficult. And this is where the Shea Lammert is going to happen, because I have to taste these again. <laughs> Not have to, want to, but yeah, I got to figure out what order these are going to go in. I know that number one is last. I'm good on that. Everything else, I have no idea. So, yeah. Uh, John Delacassine says, This bottle I've really been in the mood for. <laughs> All I know is that he likes Pete. Her notes are out of the park. Do you mean out of the park like I'm doing a good job or out of the park like I'm doing a really shitty job? <laughs> I think that's a baseball reference, so good. Okay, okay. <laughs> Um, Austin Feltz, Pete, Austin Feltz, how you doing? <laughs> I feel like Bring when the guys Pete. say it, it's a little better, like, Pete. <laughs> I can't get that low. <laughs> um, oh, Marshall, you're making me a little jealous right now. Just got my pork bot off the grill. Oh my gosh. Yeah, I mean, if there's there a couple some... of these that literally taste like that, so. <laughs> well, that's true. That is true. Um, but that would be... Oh, sure, okay. I mean, you totally nailed it. Oh, well, yay. That makes me feel good. Um, I feel like I'm getting a little better at it. I don't know. Like, when I first started, for one whiskey, it took me, like, an hour to just get a few things off of it. And now, when I'm doing my reviews, it doesn't take me that long. I don't know. I just, like, I think you just get used to it. I don't know, but. Um, I don't. No? Okay, maybe. No, I, I still know. take forever. Like, when I'll do blind flights and shit, like, I'll spend, like, 45 minutes just nosing through them and back uh -huh. before I even start drinking them. Well, that's probably the best way to do it, because I drink uh -huh. them, and then I'm like, I don't know what the fuck I'm drinking. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Carla Max says, I'm so Shay Lambert right now. That narrows down dinner to pizza or Chinese, the two that deliver. Yeah, I have a feeling I just finished eating, like, what was left in the fridge. And I think it's going to be a pizza night tonight because the husband's not home and he is the chef of the family. So, um, so yeah. Amy Baum is in the house. Hey, Tim. What's going on? Been listening to, uh, been listening for a while while tidying up. Shayla equals awesome. Thanks, Amy. Appreciate it. Amy equals awesome. Okay. So now, Nate, what should we do? How should we? Uh, rank. Should we? This way or back this way or I don't know or just random. I think uh, from favorite to least favorite. Oh, but see, I don't know. I just have no idea. There's just a bunch of arrows. <laughs> oh. Um, well, uh, start with the one you like the most. Okay. That one's out. You don't need to taste that one again. What What do you think is tied for second? And then. Well, I actually cetera, don't know what's my first. <laughs> oh come on! Uh, <laughs> it's changed again. <laughs> I still re I really like the nose of five. 
but it's kind of like slightly drier. I don't know. Hmm. I'll, I'm gonna go with that as my number one. I still okay. really like it. Um, number five, I, that is probably. Well, you're wrong. Not. <laughs> <No. Damn it. laughs> uh, Nate needs to bottle chug and bring out Lord Bubble Bath. <laughs> now Julie's waiting in the chat to take me and quote me out of context. Yeah, I gotta go make dinner for my grandson and Dan. I'll catch back later. Enjoy the rest of the weekend. Oh, thanks, Julie. Appreciate it. I will leave timestamps for anybody watching on the replay. I'll leave timestamps in the description box below, so you don't have to sit through two hours. You can just pick the points that you want to watch. So I might have to pop my neck for anybody that doesn't like that. Just plug your ears. It might not work, but oh, there we go. Okay. Um, that doesn't sound. I know I have like a real, so I was doing jujitsu and this really jerky guy. So he's like a hundred pounds. He's like super muscly. And he's like one of those guys that's like, I need to smash people to feel like a man, you know? And so we were rolling, and I don't like rolling with him because he's super aggressive. And um, he actually, like, landed on me so weird, and I was in such a way that I, like, tore a muscle in my neck, and I've had neck problems uh, ever since then. I don't know if that is from that, but I hadn't had them before, and now I have them, so I feel like it's from that. Um, but yeah, I have to do that all the time. Um, and I feel like it's not good for me, but I can't afford to go to the chiropractor every day, so. <laughs> um, LOL, I muted and just saw Nate's face at the neck pop. <laughs> yeah. Oh, sorry, guys. Okay. Uh, it was actually quite big. I was expecting just one pop, and it popped like three or four times. Yeah. Um, it was pretty crazy. Uh, okay. I could so do that Nate? with my knuckles, but like, I don't, are you yeah. supposed to do that with your neck? Like, is that good? Probably not, but... Um, <laughs> what happens i guess my chiropractor said that my c1 and c2 so i guess they're supposed to be like this or something like they're supposed to be in a line but basically they do this so they each go in the opposite direction that they're supposed to <laughs> oh. um, so yeah i don't know why but um right. okay anyway sorry yeah <laughs> like just getting into that okay so i don't think i like four i think four might be my second to last because wow. it's got that floral thing that number one had, and for some reason I'm just not digging it tonight. Yeah, I don't like. I'm sure if you like so is it floral, like, so is it like fresh flowers or like potpourri or like what, it's kind, what like are we talking perfumey. here? Perfumey. It's like mm. straight up perfume, like almost like they put perfume in the bottle. It's not as bad mm. as four with it that it is on one, or at least I don't think. Ugh, see, number one smells way better than four. Now, it smells way more caramely. Oh, I don't know if that's barn door or not. <laughs> Hey, Miss Whiskey Central. <laughs> I read your love letter and I'm back in my suitcase. <laughs> That's probably Barn Door. Oh, Thank God. you, buddy. I bet. Uh, Shayla doesn't want to miss anything, so her next turn's an opposite. Yeah, I'm like an owl, guys. <laughs> <laughs> um, wow, so do I actually dislike four more than I like dislike one? Wow. That would be an upset. Mm, no. No. It's still that way. Ugh. <laughs> There's a scotch face. <laughs> mm. Normally, I love all scotches. I'm really surprised. It's just too florally. It's just, I don't know. I'm really curious to see what number one and number four are. Okay, so that's locked in. That's locked in. What do I think of number two? I really like number two. You spelt my name wrong, Ron Swanson. Not Barn Door. Who is that? Ha uh ha. -huh. Oh, we're gonna go eat. All right. So I really like number two. I actually might like it more than five. Ooh. I don't know. Oh, God, that's good. Okay, two and five. Let's see. I just love the... Okay, I don't know if it's sherry, but man, it is just getting more and more sherry. 
as it goes. I don't actually know either. <laughs> to be honest. Man. It doesn't say anything on the Okay, bottle, I think so. two is my number one, actually. And I think five is my number two. I... They could be tied for first, honestly. They're very different. Like, this one's... Uh, number two is way more bourbon cask, and number five tastes way more sherry cask. So I like them for different reasons. Um, but I think two has a way better texture on the palate than five. Five is a little bit thin, which... So it's going to get edged out, you know? Mm-hmm. Yeah, I don't know. Um, yeah, I like that. Okay. Um, man, I don't know. Son of a bitch. Hold That's on. Leave six, seven, and eight. And three. Oh, yeah, and three. Man, I don't know. I like the flavor of five, and I like the flavor of two, but I also like the texture of two. So, okay, I'll just leave it as it is. Uh, number three. What do I think of number three? Carlo Mac. Yeah. Oh, yeah, were you going to say name? This is the one that you thought was Lafroy, right? Yeah, originally. I don't know, it still is kind of reminding me of it, honestly. Um, I really like it. So let's see. We got three, six. What did I think of six? I should write down mine too. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Okay, Carla Mac, after all the PD goodness, open 14. Ugh, just light and sweet and fruity. Yeah. So I think open 14 may be the only one that I have left uh, that I don't have of the six classic malts. So I think that's the only one I need. And then I'll be good. Because I want to do a six classic malts video. Mm -hmm. uh, but I've got the Cragmore, the Talisker, the uh, Log of Woolen. Oh, no, I need Dalwini, too. And then I've got Glen Kinchy, so I need Open 14 and uh, Dalwini. Then you're going to buy all the cast strength ones, right, and do another video? <laughs> <laughs> when they come out? Probably. So I thought, so I'm really gullible, so when people say something in chat, I'm immediately like, yep. That's just true, and then it sounded like people were kidding about it. So is it real? Is it 100% real? Oh, yeah, real? The, the TTB labels um, have already been processed, I guess, because they oh, showed cool. up on the TTB website. So, I mean, generally, if they waste the time and money to get them approved by the TTB, they're going right. to get made. Right, There's, like, a few fringe cases where they don't get made, but... Right. But for Diageo, I feel like it's, like... Yeah. They're going to get made. Okay. So I just gotta figure out these last four. Okay, this is, oh, seven. Just got whiskey on my face. Ugh. I have not had black art. I don't know if you watched the movie DC, but it's kind of cool. I don't know if I should spoil that. I probably shouldn't spoil it. If they don't say what's in black art, they never do. But that's the cool thing about it. Like, it's a, a secret recipe of a bunch of old stuff with a bunch of different wine cask finishings and stuff like that. Um, it's supposed to be pretty wonderful, but some people say that it's overrated, though, but I don't know. I've never had it, so can't tell you. Yeah, I can't afford it. <laughs> yeah, I'm like, unless somebody gives me a sample, that's the only one I'm trying to. I just saw at a store they had the... Brooklotic, uh, shit, what, what are those called? The weird finished ones with like PX finishes and they're like, they're numbered. It's like 640 and 428 or whatever. Oh. They're like $380 a piece. And I was oh like, my gosh, I actually oh. don't know. Um, I just know like the Isla Barley and then they have like those MRC 01s or whatever, but I don't know about like Brooklotic 384 or something like that. Um, Kuvies, 640 and 382. Oh, wow. I've never, like I've never even ones. heard of them. Wow, that's cool. Yeah, me neither. Okay, so I I really like seven, and I'm thinking if you're having a flight of peated whiskeys, this kind of seems like one of the kind of quintessential peated ones, which makes me kind of want to put it up higher. Mm. 
I don't know. I like the spice on it. I like the peat. Um, so maybe this. Okay, and then let me just try eight. I might have to do just a little bit of back and forth. Sorry, guys. $400 still sitting there staring at me. Are you talking about Blackheart? Uh, <laughs> probably. Wow. You're influencing IC86, though. <laughs> <laughs> Ardbeg Oogie. I really like eight. That just super pineapple banana fruity thing is just it's just fun to nose. Yeah. Alright, so that's gonna have to be um So if I do six, maybe? I think this is my third and this is my fourth. Okay. All right. I think I got an order. All righty. All right. Let's hear it. Whiskey so, Mountains has been trying to piece it together. Oh, I'm sorry. Whiskey Mountains. Yeah. Just wait until the end. Sorry. Uh, I go back and forth in my mind too much. Um, all right. So my first place is number two. Second place. Oh. Is number five. Yeah. Oh shit. Oh. Yeah, oh. Okay. 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 <laughs> we. Okay. So uh, first place is number two. So that's number Port two. Charlotte. Port Charlotte. Oh County. wow. Okay. So I guessed it was an Isla, and I said kind of reminds me of Lottie. So it's from the <laughs> yeah. uh, it's from the Port uh, Brickladdy Distillery. So that's funny. But I said peated. So yeah. Okay. So that's Port Charlotte. Uh. <clears throat> cool. So I said it was Isla. That's awesome. Okay. Number two. Uh, second place is five. And I said it was an island. It is oh, not. Gosh. No, it's a space side. It's a space side. You kept saying space side, and then you're like, nah, it's an island. <laughs> yeah. I thought I was going back and forth. I wasn't sure. Wow, so that's Glen Rothis. Should have okay. gone with your gut. I just liked it. And and sometimes I don't like space sides. It depends on what space side. So, okay, so Glen Rothis peed it. Wow, cool. And this is the only non age stated one, too. Okay. A whole bunch. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Okay, so it was that was a space side. Dang it. I should have gone with my gut, son of a bitch. Oh, it Every happens. Time. It happens. <laughs> okay, uh, my third place uh, was actually number eight. I just really like the fruity thing on that. So I guess Ireland is probably not yep. Ireland. Oh, it's Ireland! It yeah! <laughs> Nailed it. Oh, cool. Okay, so that one's... Man, I really like that Connemara. Wow. So that's my first Connemara. Um... Oh, cool! This one's a lot, a lot oakier than the non-age stated one. The non-age stated one has a lot less oak going on, and less of that char. And it's honestly like they're both really good. Yeah. Like I, I, I really like it. So, so how is this? The is this a twelve or something? Or yeah, that's the age stated twelve year one. Mm. They also yeah, have a I cast really like that. One that everyone mm. says is too peated, and it tastes like oil, Derek Fire. But I think it's delicious. Oh wow. Yeah, that was that was really good. Okay, number four, which I said was Isla, Isla um, and then I said Smoky Light Bacon Fishy is uh, number four. Or no, I'm sorry. Four is seven. So seven. What's seven? <laughs> seven. Balvini. Oh my gosh, so that was a space side. Wow. And I yeah. said it was fishy. That's crazy. It is 14 year uh, from 2003. The amount of pee, or the amount of, it smells like an Isla. Oh, yeah. It's and crazy. It's not... Wow. I mean, I would still tell you that's an Isla. Mm -hmm. That's crazy. But it's not. Oh, cool. <laughs> no, I know, but how how That's how you throw people off. <laughs> yeah. Oh, that's awesome. Okay, so that was Belvini Pete Week. Okay, and then my fifth place was number three, which is what I said, Lafroig and Isla. Which it is. <laughs> oh my gosh, you guys. I <laughs> called that, and I've never had it. I mean, I've had uh, Lafroig before, but I've never had the 10. Oh, cool. Yay. You say you suck at this. <sighs> I normally do. I don't know why I'm on today. Probably because I went... 
I had time with these, so I went through them last night. That's probably why I had more time to just kind of sit with them off camera, kind of just hang out with them. And oh, it was so cool. Yay. Okay. Oh, that makes me so happy. <laughs> so I got two. I got two, at least somewhat right. Got a little Freud, and I said Ireland. And I mean, the only peated Ireland is Connemara, right? Um, uh, and then, or is there yeah, another one? Not anymore. Uh, Teeling has one out now, and I think oh, there's, cool. there's some older bottlings, but. Oh, okay. And then, yeah, I said number two uh, tasted like Lottie, but peated, and it's Port Charlotte, so. And which yeah. ones did you say that you had before? Oh, here, we'll go through it. Here, I'll go through it. All right. Yeah, we can see. do that after, I guess. Yeah. Um. Okay, so five. Okay, what was six? Six was six. My sixth place was six. So what is this? Talisker 10. Oh, wow. Okay, so I said light sherry and spice, and then I said slightly fishy and then called it a space side. <laughs> oh, that's awesome. So that was Talisker. Oh, cool. And I said that I haven't had that. I have only had one sip of it, to be fair. Um, so I couldn't quite remember, but. Oh, yeah. Um, and then seven, I said, was my seventh place was number four. Right? Yeah. And I said that was Nyla, but. Which it is. Oh, Ardbeg 10. Wow. So this had this floral thing that I didn't like. Which is interesting yeah i don't know um and i did not get that on the limited edition black at least i didn't analyze it i just had a sip of it but um yeah i didn't get that so that was weird so sorry guys i'm being really bad on the on the freaking chat guys i have not been in the chat i just am doing this and it's hard uh oh yeah all timer fundraiser guys please just click that link Click set reminder, save it into your watch later, and just just go over there and please support um, all of that, all of that amazing stuff that Adriana is doing. Um, cool. Well, I feel like this was not that bad. Um, okay, no, you're, so you're nailing it. Then, also, then, suck it, barn door. <laughs> suck it, barn door. Um, okay, and then my eighth place, my last place was number one. Yeah. Which is... Oh, makes sense. Makes sense. Okay. It's... Yep. It's, it's, it's boring. Yep. <laughs> makes sense. And, okay, and then I also got a floral thing on that, which I did not like. It smells way better than it tastes, but it does not taste good. Yeah, I do not like that floral thing. Okay, cool. So... Oh well, okay. I did not do too bad. No, you did really I well. Felt I don't. Pretty know. good. Okay, so I got. So I said that I hadn't had uh, Connemara, which I haven't, um, and I said it was Irish. So got that. Uh, seven, I said was an Isla, and it's a space side. But God damn it, guys! If you guys have not had this, it tastes. I wonder what peat they use. I'm really curious to see if they use uh, you know Highland they... peat or Island peat or you know Isla peat. I'm kind of curious. I don't know if it says, but. Thanks, Whiskey Mountains. I know they peat it themselves, though. I don't know where they get yeah, the actual yeah, peat from. Yeah, yeah, they do the, the, the peating, uh, the malting, you know, uh, they got their little killing thing. Um, but it seriously tastes uh, like an Isla. I don't know. Yeah. I would never yeah. tell you that's a space side. It fits um, right in. <laughs> yeah. And then uh, six, I said that I hadn't had it, and it, the, that was the Talisker 10. And I, I've only had a sip of it. I just wanted to see what it tasted like, but I've never, like, actually had full-on drams of them. So I feel like I kind of still hadn't had it, but probably should have known that one. Um, so five was the Glenrothes Peated. I wanted to call it a space side, but I called it an island. Um, but that's okay. That one was, I really, really liked that one. That was my second place. Um really surprised with how much I liked that because I, I liked the Glen Rothis, uh 12 uh, yeah. but this is like worlds above that I think um, well and it's got I, heat in it so right right and I said maybe have had before question mark on that one I haven't had it before uh, number four I said never had 
uh, which I haven't had our Big Ten. I've only had the limited edition black. Uh, and I said it was Nyla, so that was good. I said I have had number three and said it was Lafroy, and it was Lafroy. Let me just, that just makes my whole night. Um, two, I said was an Isla, and I said bourbon cask, which I'm pretty sure, I mean, I think it's mostly bourbon cask, but Port Charlotte, I think, does use some wine cask. Um, and I said it reminded me of Lottie, which means it was from the same distillery, so I feel pretty good about that. And then number one, I said that I hadn't had before, which I haven't, and it was Beaumont. Um, and I said that that was space because I had no idea. It was so floral. I was just like, what the heck is this? I guess some of the older age stated Bowmores are pretty good, but I don't know. Yeah. Entry level one doesn't do it for me. Yeah, I, uh, once I, I started getting into whiskey and then I was like, oh, I should try a bunch of Islas. And there was a Bowmore down here. And I was like, I'm pretty sure it's 40% and it's heavily colored and chill filtered. So I'm like, why waste my money on that? Like, I could yeah. buy other stuff that's that's better, you know, and just save my money on something else. I don't know. But I'm glad that I got to try it because I've been curious, like, what does Bowmore taste like? Su- surprise, I don't like it. <laughs> <laughs> but, oh, man, this was so cool. So do you have do you have a rank? Do you, do you have, a, like, a couple of your favorites or? Um, yeah, the Port Charlotte, for sure. Uh-huh. That's so good. Yeah. Um, the Balvini Peat Week, I, it's it's grown on me a lot. Yeah. I'm like halfway through it now, and that's like my re- most recent purchase. Yeah. <laughs> and then of course the Connemara is up there. Yeah, I, re- I, I actually I went back and forth between Connemara. I had I had uh, Balvini Peat Week as my third, and then uh, Connemara as my fourth, and then I switched them. So they were kind of right near each other. I really liked them. But what were you about I, to say? Sorry. I didn't really like the Glen Roths, to be honest. Like, the every other time I've had it, I was like, eh. It's just, I don't know. Eh. Yeah, I don't know why I liked it so much. It was my number number two after Port Charlotte, so I'm like, yeah. I think it's too it's too malty for me. The malt, yeah. the malt is good, but I I don't know. A little too much? A little too much, yeah. Yeah. And maybe I'm just, maybe I'm a fan of that. God, I love this Connemara, though. I am so surprised. People were... I, I had seen comments saying that it was like tire fire and something else like people and I'm like what this just smells fruity and delicious like yeah. I don't even get any yeah. of that well the right I now. guess the cast strength one people think it's even worse where it's like undrinkable like Eric White wow. said that I don't know why they bottled this and it's wow. like I love it <laughs> so so this is the what what percentage is this at uh Forty percent. Oh wow! See, it tastes like it has way more uh, ABD on it. It's got a lot more going on. Yeah, it's yeah. kind of crazy, especially yeah. since I think it's triple distilled still. Yeah, I think, or I can't remember now. I think it might be double. I think it might be double. Yeah, I think it might be double. Um, but yeah, I'd be really interested to. So, so the cast strength. Do you think that? it tastes like that but just amped up or is there more peat on it or uh, <laughs> John de la cuisine uh nailed it but yeah um the 12 the 12 has it's got too much burnt wood going on for me it's not like the good smoky peat smoke it's like the wood smoke uh-huh through, this which... this one for you yeah the 12 yeah I actually prefer the NAS a little bit over it oh okay okay yeah yeah, I'd be interested to try try the cast strength and the NAS and see see what's better. But I, yeah, I do like that um, that char and just all the fruit. It's it's nice. It's good. Yeah, that was my number three. So you like the Port Charlotte? You like the Pete Week? Same here. Um, and then yeah, I do like that Connemara. Uh, Actually, I have yeah, Ardbeg. What's up? Ardbeg is number three for me really <laughs> yeah i love our wow. part of the yeah. cult <laughs> and so i like like i really really liked um the ardbeg limited edition black sample that i got and i don't know why i uh oh this is not the right glass i'm just gonna have it anyway because it's the peat wheat one sec it's so good <laughs> mm-hmm. if i see peat week i'm buying some because i really like that um which one was Art Bank? Four? 
yeah, this had this floral thing that I, that was the only thing I didn't like about it. If it didn't have that, but the, but the, uh, limited edition black doesn't have this, or at least from what I remember, it doesn't, hmm. so. I think that one's, that one's wine finished or something, right? The black. Maybe, yeah. I think it's I like just New Zealand sample, wine so cast or something. Oh, okay. Oh, cool. So I might be covering it up. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah. But yeah, there is some weird thing that I don't like about it, which is so weird. Um, oh, DC. Oh my gosh, guys. I got like two or three new patrons in the last couple days. We're almost at 50 nice. patrons, which is just crazy to me. It's bananas. So um, thanks, DC. DC was actually my very first ever patron. So um pretty dope. I mean, all of you guys joined actually pretty close to the same time, but DC was my first. Um, okay, Amy Bow. I don't know why everything isn't calf strength. Hashtag purpose of suits. <laughs> I could add water if needed. I know. Like, I was kind of sad with the, the log level in 16. It's like, guys, why are you why are you putting this at 43%? I mean, I know why. It's because they can. Just like Glenfiddich can put it at 40 because they make a bundle and it's 40 and they just add water and water's free. Um, but it's just like, it sucks. I agree, Amy. I agree. Yeah. At least at 50%. Like, just meet us halfway. It doesn't have to be 120, but could you, instead of bringing 80, could we do 100? Just meet in the middle here a little bit? Yeah. 50 Probably. patrons equals awesome. Yeah, I can't wait. I just Brooke feel like Lattic that's a big bag. milestone. What's They're up? All 40, Brooke Lattic and Ardbeg. They're all 46 or more. Mm -hmm. Yep. I love it. Yep. And yeah, all the like uh, Burn Stewart Distel stuff, at least for now, when it was Burn Stewart, it was 46.3%. Um, I don't know if Distel will eventually put it down to 40 or whatever, but um, it's like at least 46 is, is good. I'm good with 46. If everything was 46, I would not complain. I probably would, because then it would be, <laughs> I'd be like, everything's 46, it needs to be 50. Um, yeah. But yeah, you know what I mean. Um, what's, I will send you Ardbeg, Dark Cove, um, Grooves, and Kelpie. Just let me know when you're in the States, and hand delivery can happen. You can just, uh, if you feel like it, DC, you can just send it to my, or you can, you can go meet my mom, and uh, she just holds it there for me until I, uh, until I get there, if you feel like it. But yeah, I really liked the black, so I was, I'm super surprised that that was Ardbeg, because I love that black version, and I just did not like this. The bone more does not surprise me one bit, because it was just gross. Um, I don't know, maybe I didn't get all the soap out of the bottle. <laughs> uh, oh, yeah, people are, somebody saying, uh, yeah, I wonder, I wonder if, Maybe it was the the sample bottle. Maybe I'm maybe I'm not getting a. Maybe. I'll we'll just have to buy a bottle and try it for myself. <laughs> I can get I can get that down. That's here always so. the answer. <laughs> yeah. Well, where did Amy's comment go? Uh, okay. A guy I work with spent a significant amount of time trying to figure out a way to remove water from whiskey without losing flavor. Yeah. Right. Yeah, I do wish. Um, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So I go up to my mom's, and then I also go up to my sister-in-law's. So, uh, I think my mom's it. is more frequent, though, so mom's is probably better. If it's samples. It's, I think he was saying that your mom looks like your sister. <laughs> what? Well, I guess she kind of does, but I don't know. Yep. Pretty cloudy, 50%. They know what's up. They know what's up. Non colored, non chill filtered. I always find Ardbeg 10 very citrusy on the nose and ashtray on the finish. Yeah. I think I got th those kind of things too, a little bit ashy, but yeah, that, um, for some reason, that kind of floral thing just took over on that one. Um, not as bad as the Bowmore though. So, yeah. Brian Toner says, Good evening, folks. Well, we're actually just about to wrap it up. Um, by the way, guys, if you haven't subscribed, to Nate over a bubble bath bourbon. Are you even a whiskey tube fan? Are you even? I don't think so. So, <laughs> no, he does awesome reviews. And it's just like, I think we as whiskey nerds uh, and whiskey, or, and I mean that in an endearing way, not a bad way. Um, but I think we all like to really enjoy our whiskeys. Like, 
we don't throw them back. I mean, maybe every once in a while, but you know, we're the kind of people that like to enjoy our whiskeys and sit with them. And I think one of the best ways to do that, it's in a freaking hot bubble bath. Like you've had a long day. You just want to, you know, relax in some warm water and just have a nice dram and just chill out. And that's what Nate does on his channel, except that he does a review at the same time. Um, and I don't know, it's just cool guys. So um, if you guys want to check it out, I put a link to his channel in the description box below. For anybody watching this on the replay, link's in the description box below, and somebody will probably post it in, oh yeah, Whiskey Mountains just posted it. Boom. Yeah. Fun, chill, honest reviews, absolutely. Um, and they're pretty funny too. Um, so, well, some of the times when he's like trying to be funny, they're funny, so. Um, so yeah, guys. I thought it was uh, the opposite. <laughs> no, no. Like that, I don't know. Well, I don't know. It's, all of them are great. <laughs> um, I'm still anticipating Bubble Bath Bourbons live on April 1st. <laughs> Long time to wait, but it'll be worth it. So is that, is that your plan? Um, or was he messing around? No, I, I said that I was going live last April 1st. And then um, I postponed it like 15 minutes. Mm -hmm. And then I postponed it another 15 minutes. And I did that for like 45 minutes. And then <laughs> finally, I just changed the date to 2022. Oh, gosh. That's funny. Kira, <laughs> Kira's still pissed off at me about that. She's um, like, I fucking sat around in the chat for half an hour. I know, I know. Yeah, I think I probably would a little bit. It's it's a good April Fool's joke, though. That's it. I'm very gullible. So I would have been like, oh, no, he's just having technical difficulties. And I would have done that a few times. <laughs> Like, now we're just hanging out in the chat basically without a oh, video okay. oh that's awesome oh you and you were in the chat you were just yeah, like yeah. Wah, ha, ha, ha. <laughs> yeah pretty much oh that's cool oh okay we've been at it for an hour and 40 minutes and i've had eight whiskeys and the shea lambert is going to set in in about five minutes so um <laughs> i'm like sweating here yeah oh yeah <laughs> yeah uh freaking heat wave over there so um but yeah Thank you so much, Nate, for coming on, and you're just awesome, and that was, it was so much fun. I loved that, and I loved it even more because I got a couple things right, which never fucking happened, so <laughs> thanks for helping me out. <laughs> Nailed a couple of them. I didn't, I didn't help out at all. Well, you said, you know, I got four Islas, two Space Ides, and whatever, so um, I at least had uh, regions in my head to kind of base some decisions off of, so yeah. that was cool, but um dc says nate is hot somebody banned dc no i'm just kidding <laughs> <laughs> we don't do that in whiskey tube chats dc no <laughs> just kidding he's a wrench so um pizza time yeah i think i think it is guys if you guys if i get pizza i'll post it on a patreon lens just so you guys can see and then maybe we can all just have pizza together um much love to you both. I didn't mean to click on DC, <laughs> so I meant to click on Amy's, and then the chat jumped. DC is just being a weirdo. Um, okay. My eyes Lizzie are pure DC. Like, yeah, yeah. Come on now. <laughs> Keep it clean. <laughs> okay, guys. I love you. I miss you. I missed you, honestly, this whole week. I was just like, I just need some chat time. So um, this has been wonderful. I will see you guys next week. Adriana is going to be on and we are going to be doing a bourbon drinker try scotch episode three uh nice. see if we can get her well she already had some scotch over at whiskey crusaders but this was before that i sent her those before <laughs> um so yeah she's going to try a little bit more we're going to see what she likes hopefully she likes some stuff that i sent so nice thank you so much nate please You're guys welcome. go subscribe to nate please 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 um also nate Sorry, I, I didn't tell you that I was going to do this, so putting you oh, on the spot no. a tiny little bit. Um, sure. What do you have coming up? Do you have any videos planned coming up? Uh, no, because it's too hot to take fucking bubble baths right oh. now. Oh, ah, fair enough, fair enough. Okay, well, when it cools down, Nate is going to heat things up. So go over and subscribe to his channel right now. Okay, <laughs> I love you guys. <laughs> See you next week. Bye. <laughs>